Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Stephanie Freiling. Thank you and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show as I broadcast live on FM across the nation. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. I want my audience to know that Stephanie Freiling is the Vice President of Merchandising of Children Books at Barnes & Noble. And she wants to give you guys a different choice for the summer. It's great to have phones, but I love books. Stephanie, how can we get our parents to get their kids more interested? Because I see you guys did a survey. We did. As we approached summer reading this year, it was important for us to understand what parents were thinking as they went into the summer reading season. And what we learned was that nearly 90% of parents plan to have their kids put down the devices and pick up a book this summer. What was a little bit more surprising was the number of books that they're expecting their kids to read. So 35% of our respondents indicated they anticipated their kids would read four to six books. 26% of our respondents expect their kids to read 10 or more books this summer. Now, it would be interesting to find out how many books the parents are reading. Remember, kids <laughs> are imitating our behavior. That would be really interesting. That would be really interesting. But one of the great takeaways from the surveys, too, was that 69% of the families said that they will read together, and 55% actually plan to read the same book so that they can bond over those stories with their kids. So that was great to see. That is great to see. How can parents make this uh, uh, summer adventure that they want their children to have? Because that's what books are an adventure. Yeah. How can you make it more fun for their kids? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely the challenge. And so what Barnes & Noble's going to do this summer to help parents and to help kids is we're partnering the hottest, newest releases this summer with in-store events. So our booksellers, through different games and activities, will bring these characters and this content to life so kids can find their new favorite book. We're going to launch with um, All American Adventure. It's the newest book from James Patterson and the Treasure Hunter series. We're also going to host an event called Game On, where we'll look at some gaming guides that go behind the scenes in Minecraft, Roblox, Pokemon, and even Fortnite. Graphic novels are the fastest growing format in the young reader segment, and so for the first time this year, we're going to host GraphicsCon. And one of the books we'll be looking at is Just Jamie, the newest release from Terry Liebenson. We'll also, in August, host our kids' book hangout with Escape from the Isle of the Lost. It's the latest book in the Descendants series, the books that are behind the Disney Descendants movies. And also, through the entire month of August, families can come into Barnes & Noble to redeem their summer reading journal. So just tell us what eight books you loved most this summer, and you can redeem that for a free book. listens to us on all the multitude of platforms and Facebook is one of them and I've got a Facebook question for you. One of the posters would like to know what are graphic novels? That was a good question. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, graphic novels for young readers are similar to the graphic novel format for adults, but the stories are much more appropriate for our, our young readers. It's a great entry point for kids as they're transitioning from picture books into chapter books, and it also gives them a great opportunity to appreciate the artwork that's in those books. So we've seen rapid adoption of graphic novels. Great. I know that school's out. This is a great opportunity. Any more tips, hints, suggestions, inspiration for her parents to get their kids reading? Yeah. Stephanie, can you yes. hear me? I'm sorry, I just needed clarification on the question there. Suggestions for parents to get their kids reading. I think the yeah, most... I'm trying to give them as, yeah, yeah. as many ways as possible. Definitely. I, I think the most important thing to get kids reading is to find the genre or the characters or the author that they really love. And a lot of the books in the Young Readers segment are series-based. So what we find is that once kids find the character or the storyline that they really love, they tend to move through the series quite quickly, and ideally, then that will help introduce them into new like series. All right, then. Yeah. If my parents wanted to participate, where would you send them online or in the brick-and-mortar stores? 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can talk to a bookseller at your local Barnes & Noble store, or you can go to barnesandnoble.com. We've got more information there. We've also got a number of curated summer reading lists to help guide parents in books that their kids might love this summer. Stephanie Fireling from Barnes & Noble, thank you so very much for talking about my favorite topic, reading. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs>